Well, hello, YouTube family. Uh, I'm coming to you today, which today is the what? The 25th of February. Uh, this just is going to be a, a short video, but it's about a dream that I had. I think it was like last year sometime. And um, this dream I had, but y'all, it felt so real as as I share with you share with y'all a lot of my dreams but this dream felt like I was actually there um I, I I was in hell it 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 was a club clubbing and um it, it in in this dream I appeared inside of it looked like a cafe I'm not gonna say it was a club but have y'all ever been to like a, a cafe but where you can eat and you could sit down uh, at the same time it has a DJ you could dance and have a little bit of fun this was the type of cafe that it was so I just appeared inside this cafe so it looked like maybe it might have had maybe it started off looking small and it looked like it might have had like maybe two or three booths in it but it wasn't real big on the inside and so, of course, you know, in a vision or a dream, anything can happen. Uh, so, when I appeared inside this cafe slash, but uh, it, it's kind of like a, a bar and grill or, or a cafe. And I, I, I keep saying that because I'm still trying to grasp the scene when I appeared there. So, just to give you an, an idea. So, there was a DJ up in there. And there was couples up in there. Okay. So when I appeared up in there, the DJ y'all was playing some music. Now mind you now, at the time, I didn't know it was a it, 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 the, the cafe was actually in hell. I didn't know. And I'll tell you, you know, further on about my dream after I finished. But when I, I say it's a dream, but I really felt like it was a visitation, like I was actually there. That's That's the only way I can say it. So for those who have had uh, visits to hell, you understand what I'm talking about. For those who don't understand that, you, you won't understand what I'm trying to say. But I pray that God open up the eyes of your understanding and, and, and your ears. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying. So the, uh, the, uh, the DJ, y'all, I mean the music, y'all, I, I, I ain't going to lie. I mean, you know. I was a club and Christian. I, I I I have to be honest. I can't lie. There was a time, you know, when I first gave my, my life to the Lord that I didn't club. I, I I because I never really went out, you know. But then there came a time in my life where, you know, I kinda slacked off and, you know, kinda started doing my thing and, and, and was doing the clubbing thing. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've been a Christian for years, you know. And, uh, but I went through, I, th I think some of y'all who are Christians, you understand where you go through that phase where you hotting on fire for God. And, and then after a while, you know, you get the bugging out, you know, the devil tempt you, trying to make you feel like, you know, you missing out, you know, on stuff. So I clubbed and, uh, and, 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 and I drank. And so, um, and you know, I, at, at, at the time, you know, um, I didn't, I, 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 I used to feel condemned, but then I got to a point to where I wasn't feeling condemned anymore about going out. When I say condemned, convicted. And uh, so I was just doing it, you know, uh, I, I would have fun, you know, dancing and, you know, uh, bugging and clubbing, you know, at, at, at the time. And uh, but then, of course, over time, you know, going out wasn't the same as bugging and clubbing. You know, you just want to sit down and. You know, just have a drink and relax. Now, this I'm I'm being I'm being totally transparent. So you know, cause of course it get it, you know it get to a point to where you know the clubbing gets old and you be like you know you done seen you you done seen one club you done seen them all you know what I'm saying and um but anyway I was saying that to share that in this dream that the DJ was playing music y'all the music was so funky i mean it, it have, have you ever seen about who who pop block you know it was just precision the, the if, if you knew how to dance the music that he was playing it this music was straight 
satanically anointed, but the beat was so funky till you could not sit on your feet. You had to get up and dance, and 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 you felt it. You know, you you know, you was popping and moving, and you know, and everything. It, it, the music was just funky, but you knew that the music was straight from hell because there's an anointing. People, when I say anointing, I'm not ascribing the anointing from God. There was an anointing from Satan on, on the music, and the beat was just funky, y'all. It, it, it was just going. So people couldn't sit down. So out of nowhere, people started coming in this cafe slash bar and grill. And all of a sudden, the, 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 the cafe started expanding as the people were coming in. And then it started filling up with people, women and men coming in because they heard the music and they just start coming in from, from near and far. But it started getting kind of crowded up in there. And y'all, when I tell you the music was just funky and, and you know, and a guy had, had, had asked me to dance. So I started dancing with him and then all of a sudden, you know, everybody started getting kind of rough. And start dancing, start pushing and jostling while, 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 while they were dancing, just jostling. And when I say jostling, meaning, you know, people were bumping. So the guy that was dancing with me, he had started to get kind of rough with me, like as if he wanted to rape me on, 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 on the floor or overtake me on, on the floor. And then all of a sudden I knew that this just wasn't a regular cafe slash bar and grill slash club scene then it started getting scary but i mean at first you know the music was getting funky and I, I i felt the beat and i you know i was dancing to it but then i just didn't feel right because it felt like it was just straight music from hell y'all i can't explain it if you ever heard your favorite rap group or favorite funk mu music um uh, let, let, let me see who i can give y'all an idea like 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 heavy d MC Hammer, uh, I can I, I I can go younger. Uh, 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 uh Ice Cube, uh, Tupac, uh, 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 uh what's what's his name Biggie Smalls. The music was bumping. Snoop Dogg. It was like a funk. It, it, it was just like a funk and a real real a real funk. But it it got scary. And like I said, I was dancing with the guy, and the guy started getting rough with me. And I felt like he wanted to rape me right there in front of everybody in the scene. So I started pushing him back. Like, you know, like, like, calm down. But the guy wasn't having it. And somehow I knew that it, that this wasn't a man. This was a demon dressed up in a human suit. So what happened was in the midst of the joshing, I mean, it started filling up, y'all. I mean, the club began to, the, 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 the. Cafe slash bar grill slash club, it started expanding and people started coming in and it started crowding it and everybody was just getting rough and just dancing just real rough. And I was like, I need to get out of this place. So I could tell in the dream that 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 that, that God was with me in, in, in a sense that I started floating up. All of a sudden the roof, somehow the roof wasn't there anymore. So a, a force, an unseen force, began to lift me up out of, of, the, uh, of that scene. So as I was going up in the air, and I had got up almost like cloud, like uh, up, up, up to the clouds. But the clouds wasn't too far from the ground. They, they wasn't like your normal height way up in the sky. But I know I got up where the clouds was. Then all of a sudden, the guy that I was dancing with, and I knew he was supernatural. What he did, he reached up, he came up behind me. He came up behind me, and but I was laid out. I, I, my, my body was, was horizontal. The force that brought me up, which I knew was God saving me, pulling me up, up out of there. But y'all, but before, before the demon slash human grabbed me, I could look out around this, this building. And y'all, I knew that this was hell. It was dark as far as the eyes could see but God allowed me to see because this was hell I saw people lining up at this restaurant slash club slash bar and grill slash club people were lining up as far as the eyes could see it looked like a few humans at the door but then after a while it, it was no longer humans it was 
it almost looked like soldiers or something. They had like a round helmet, but you couldn't see no face. And it was round heads. And all of a sudden, the ground, you could see. You, you ever seen like lava? Uh, like it's, it's dark, but then under the bottom is red. And when the lava is cracking, it's dark on top, but you could see the red in between. <clears throat> well, this is what the grounds look like. I knew up under the people, up under this club, was 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 hot lava. I knew it was hot lava, and um, so but I saw I saw I'm talking about these these soldiers, or or it could have represented people, as far as the eyes could see. But I knew we were standing on top of lava and the people looked like humans as they was coming inside the club but but you could tell there was something else before they got in the club there was another uh, like like i said like a soldier but they had like a helmet like a, a, a round helmet where you couldn't see no face but from here down they was dark there was dark figures so like I say, God, God allowed me to see it was dark around. It was dark around this building. This building was the only thing there. It was the only thing. But I will say, while I was in the club, I thought about you know uh, 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 other people, and uh, f I felt like I was really there, y'all. I felt like I was really there, and I was thinking of, of other people that 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 I knew, just familiar faces, and um, and so. But like I say, once once I got up in the sky, this demon came after me, slash human. Came after me, and like I say, I was horizontal. When he came up after me, he grabbed my breast. And what he did, what he did, he caressed me to pull me back down. You know how the devil do. He'll try to caress you, try to woo you back, you know, to, to, to the scene. Because he don't want you to leave the club. He don't want you to leave the scene. But what he did, he, he he grabbed me from 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 my like like I say my breast and and my my breast and caressed me, and instead of me going up, I felt weak on on the inside, and the demon was uh, the demon was pulling me down, but before I could really fight or really fight the sensation or or the feeling of being drugged back down, the dream disappeared. So, this was a scene in hell. I, I, I felt like that, that, that this was a club. This was a scene. The music was satanic. Satan was trying to set the scene. You, you know how when the devil wants you to come back in the world and, and he wants you to come back out there. You know he want to make that music just right. He want to set the scene just just right for you so you can feel comfortable and, and, and forget about what's really important, uh, you know. And uh, so the dream disturbed me in the sense it's like it, it, it just made me feel like, Lord, I don't want to ever step foot in a club again. <laughs> but. I will say that as a Christian, when you love God, because there was a point, like I say, I, I, I was clubbing and, and I was bugging, but there comes a point when God calls you to come out from among them. And I, 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 I remember when I was clubbing, you know, all the time God would show me visions of myself. Um, I had people following me. But it was darkness, but I was a light, but my light was very dim. And I was dancing and, and, and stuff, and and the people were, were looking at me like, you know, Chanel, you, you leading us, but look at what you're doing. You know, we, we, we know you got the light. We know you got the light, but y'all, I was dancing, and, and looked like I was, I, I, I was drunk inside the vision. And God had revealed to me, Chanel, you're not, you're not setting a, a good example. And though people know that you're, you're a Christian and you still got a light, but my light was dim and I was leading the way. I had a light where I could see in the darkness, but the people were like, what, what are you doing? We following you. We, we know you got the answer. We know you leading the way. But right now, the way you're behaving is just not lining up 
with what you preach it. It's kind of like people know that, you know, that, 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 that you're a child of God, but your behavior at, at the time is not lining up with who you are on the inside. You know you're a child of God, but you bugging like, like, like the world bugging. And so God, God, God will rebuke me on, on more than one occasion, you know, but at the time, you know, I, I, I heard it, but you know how you would justify yourself. I, you know, I'm just, I'm just sitting down, I'm just clubbing, you know, because it got to the point to where, you know, um, I, I, I was just calm, you know, I would take a drink and just sit down. It, 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 it was nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, but that, but that's not the point. You know, God was letting me know that, that, that people looking, they're checking your light out. They know it's something different about you. And it's almost like as if they want to follow you, but how you leading them is confusing them. Confusing them in the sense that you got the light, but you dance. God showed me dancing and, 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 and I was drunk and I was looking crazy and I and, and it took the people to bring it to my attention and it embarrassed me. I was like, Lord, but it was almost like I couldn't see myself and I was all right with myself at the time. And uh, but the people was like, uh, yeah, you need to you, you, you need to straighten up and, and hold that flashlight. And hold that flashlight right so we can follow you and see where we going. Because I still had the light. I still had the light. But I could tell it was like, okay, come come on, Chanel. You got the answer. Straighten up and, and lead the way. It was almost like God had gave a people to me that they didn't throw me away. But they was kind of letting me know that, okay, hey, you know, chill out. Come on down, you know, and, 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 and walk circumspect. You know, so so to speak. So you know, God God began to deal with me. You know uh, about that, and so you know. But it's one thing I find is that when you a child of God, and I think every child of God can attest to this. You know that when you first get saved, you full of fire, and then after a while, you know you kind of get cool cool down along the way, and you know you you go through phases. You know where where where, where you bug out, uh, uh, you 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 burnt out. And you just want to let your hair down. You, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's how the enemy will make you feel. You know, to let your hair down. Y'all, it's nothing wrong with enjoying life and having fun. But we got to be careful that Satan don't become a part of your vacation. <laughs> and, and letting your hair down. And wanting to relax and, and lay back. And uh, um, just just be be careful. Come, come out when, 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 when you're a Christian. And when God really wants you to straighten it up, he'll call you back in. He'll, he'll, he'll give you dreams, visions. He'll put people in your path to rebuke you. Uh, you know, backsliders. You know, come come back. Come on. Come out from among them and be separate. Be a light. We are, the Bible says that we are the salt of the earth. And um, so when, when God gave me that dream, you know, the dream was 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 powerful. And it was scary to me because I woke up. I was like, whoa. Because sometimes, you know, it's a, it's, it's a lot of Christians, you know, who, who go clubbing. I saw plenty of sisters and brothers out there. You know, we jamming, you know, ne next to each other, you know. And, um, and, and you know, and when, and when you having fun and, you know, not that you got to be acting a fool just because you're going out. Because going out itself. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say going out to enjoy yourself is, 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 is not a sin. But when you're in a place where you're representing, you are representing Christ. And people know that you represented him. Now, though you won't get condemnation if it's just, you know, you know if it's Christians out there, you know, side by side. We're we not going to condemn each other. But, of course, if the world, if the sinners don't, don't know who we are or if they do know who we are, we could be a stumbling block. But at the time, it just it just didn't bother me, you know. And uh, plus, you know, um, I wasn't as active, you know, uh, in the church at, at, at the time. And uh, but God was like, you know, Chanel, it's, it's time to come out, you know, from among them and be separate. Shut it all down. Time to shut it down. When God called you in and when he read it, you know, I was listening to a pastor today and he was preaching the truth. He said, what would you do? If God gave you over to a reprobate mind, that's why we got to be careful what we justify in our hearts to do as a Christian. And and we like to think that we ain't backslidden, 
we 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 like to think that that we okay. So so what the enemy do, he lulls us to sleep. And we got to be careful that when we're lulled to sleep that 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 you that you not making new rules for yourself that don't line up with the world because it's easy to make some rules for yourself. Well, God don't mind me doing this here. He don't mind me doing a little bit of this and that. And it's really not people that you have to worry about. It's God that you have to worry about because God is trying to save you from the depths of hell. See, people feel like once saved, always saved, but Christians can go to hell. We can go to hell if we start slipping. You slipping at, 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 at a time where, you know, what where, where God been calling you to get you out from among them and be separate. And it just may be that day when God said, you know what? I'm sick of this little child. They rebelling and rebelling and rebelling. And they, and they, they, they don't see the traps that Satan has set for them. Because, see, Satan is all about, you know, uh, 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 rocking the church to sleep. See, sinners, he already got them. It's the saints... He want to lull us to sleep so that the church is no longer effective and that and that the world don't even want to hear us. And really, you get to the point where you don't even want to talk about the gospel no more. You just, you know, you you at home and you listening, you know, you reading your word at home or you still going to church on Sundays or you listening to the word on TV. You just at a point to where, you know, you just saved and satisfied and, and you figure that's enough. I, I don't need to witness, you know. And so Satan want to get us in a state of oblivion to where we are of no more effect for God's kingdom. We're doing just enough to, 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 to stay saved. We, we living on sloppy grace. I've been guilty of it, y'all. I just, you know, I'd have to tell the truth. You know, with all these videos that I've made, each video that I've made, y'all, when I make videos, I'm always preaching to myself. And whenever I minister to someone, it's never about condemnation it's about God's love trying to save us see this is what Jesus you know what he died for on the cross to save us from a burning hell because Satan don't want to go by himself but if he can't get you to blatantly rebel against God what he'll do is he'll try to get you to to get slack in your walk and to get and get comfortable start making your own rules well maybe it's okay to do this you know, just long as I ain't hurting nobody. You know, I, I I know my heart is 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 in the right place, and at the same time, we don't realize it. We've been a stumbling block, not only just to the world, but we've been a stumbling block to our own self. We go we gonna end up hurting our own self. It's called self destruction. Self destruction. So, when I had the dream, I was like, it it, it I was like, wow, God. So so this is what it's really like. God was showing me. Satan is 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 behind lulling us to sleep. I'm not gonna say dancing is wrong. I'm not gonna say uh, listening to all secular music is is, is wrong. You know, because you have some love music, you have some taste for music. I feel like you know you have you have some taste for music. You know, jazz or you know whatever. You know, you have, you you have to be led by your spirit as a Christian. What you feel you can listen to and what you can't. I, I'm not coming on here to tell you or, or what artists to listen to, what what artists not to listen to, what place to go to, what place not to go to. You have the Holy Ghost on the side. I, now I'm talking to Christians. You have the Holy Ghost on the side of you. And uh, we know uh, 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 when God is is calling us to bring it in, if if we done backslid, okay. This this is to all those who done backslid, and you're balling out there. You know you're having a ball. It's no condemnation, but there come a time where you need to bring it bring it back on in, bring bring it back on in. Jesus getting ready to come soon, and uh, as I look on YouTube, I listen to a lot of. A uh, 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 hell visitation vid videos, and I'm seeing how God is visiting. It's it's more a lot a lot of people that I'm seeing are people who know the Lord, and that they've backslidden and God visiting them in their dreams or taking them to hell visits to let them know, wake up, your feet is on the cusp of hell. God is trying to wake His saints. He's trying to wake us. Come out, come out from 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 among them, and and God. Want to let us know that, you know, okay, you preaching this gospel, but after you've preached it, you become a castaway yourself. 
it's dangerous. It's dangerous. The Bible said if judgment begins, it's going to start at the house of God. And God want, God, God is going to clean his house up. And the way he cleans it up, he starts visiting folk. He, he's, he's letting us know as children of God, come out from among the world. I'm coming soon. He want to use us before we leave this earth. He want, he, he want to get some use out of us, you know, before we go home to be with us. He don't want our living after we have preached the gospel to end up in hell. And y'all, when I say this dream scared the hell out of me, it scared the hell out of me. Because I know that there was a point, you know what I'm saying, that I was clubbing, going out, having a nice time, eating, sitting, chilling, you know, drink, ha ha having a drink, you know, and just, you know, just chilling, you know. And just really feeling like, you know, I don't feel there's nothing wrong with this. But then after a while, you know, God began to, you know, convict my heart. And, um, you know, you got some saints, well, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with this. Y'all, this is not about condemnation. This is not about condemnation. All I'm going to say is, is that if you hear a whisper for those who are Christians and you're backslidden, or you feel like your walk is okay. And that's fine. But if you hear the Spirit of God. because If you hear the Spirit of God tell you. Go home. Go home. God is trying to save you. I believe there's a season. Where God will keep the enemy away from you. Because you're going through a phase. Where you know. Cer certain things in your flesh. Has to run its course. But. God has his hand on you at that point. But it comes a point. When God say, okay, it's time to come in. It's time to come in. I done, I, I, I done let you have your fun. I've protected you on the enemy's turf. And this is what God was letting me know while I was out there. He was protecting me. Because, y'all, I, I would pray before I go, pray before I drink. You know, I just, I, you know, I got comfortable. But God was like, it's time. It's time, it's, it's time to bring, bring, bring it on in. It's time to bring it on in. Because God sees something. He sees, he foresees the enemy is saying, okay, you done watched over him long enough on, on my turf. And now yeah, I'm, about, I'm, I'm about to get him. And, and, and when God wants your attention, listen. Because you never know, it may come a time when Satan will try to stir up something, you know, on, on, on a club scene. You know, where people get to shooting, stabbing, and killing. And, um, and, 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 and that bullet just might have your name on it. And it was only supposed to be a straight bullet. But Satan won't Satan wanna put your name on it. He wanna put your name on, on, on that knife. And it could be your very last day. I'm just saying, for those of us, you know, say the, I call it the sipping saints and, and, and the dancing saints, you know, who, who like to go, you know, clubbing on the weekend. I'm not there's no condemnation on my end. But all I would say is, is if you hear God calling you to come in, bring it on in. Because, see, he's saving you from something. He sees something that Satan try, want, want to do to you. Bring it on in. Come out from among them and be ye separate. When God is calling you back to the fold and calling you back, you know, to a standard again. Because, you know, sometimes people, Christians, Christians do get tired along the way. You know, you like, wow. You know, and the enemy make you feel like being a Christian is boring. What is there for us to do? You know, and a lot of times that, that it comes because we done lost our first love. And, 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 and Satan done got us to the point where he done got us out, out the word. We ain't reading like we should. We ain't fasting like we should. We ain't doing those things that really keep us on fire for God like we should. And Satan knows this. So then he'll sit on your shoulder and whisper in your ear and, and, and make you feel like, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with this. Go ahead and do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. He'll try to get you some fornication, some drinking, and some clubbing, and, 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 and some drugging, and, and just, well, drugs ain't never been my thing. But he'll try to get you out there in it. He'll try to put you to sleep. It's called oblivion. Meaning, Satan want to keep you ignorant. Oblivious mean, meaning you're ignorant to something that's going on around you. Oblivion. There, there's a demon that's called oblivion. And what he does, he tries to pull the wool over your eyes. The further you pull away from Christ, the further that demon. The Bible talks about how that 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 that's how Satan has blinded the mind of men. That would be a demon of oblivion. 
want you totally oblivious and want you totally making your own rules as a Christian instead of using the rules of the Bible, God's commandments, then we start making our own rules to make our bed easy to lay in. You don't want no conviction. You know, you want you you like compromise. And then when you hear people preaching, you be like, well, they just being too hard. But before you but before you got into that compromising position, the word was fine with you. Right was right and wrong was, was wrong. And, and the word was fine with you until you started compromising and backsliding. Then you change your, your tune and uh, you, 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 you ain't, you ain't got to be rough. You know, you, you, start, you start preaching soft and jelly back. And that's what Satan wants us to do. He wants us to be jelly backed straight into hell. Satan want to catch the saints of God. I ain't talking to the sinners. I'm talking to the saints. Satan want to catch us unaware. He want to catch you that, that, that one night that you in fornication. That one night that you masturbating. That one night that you all, you know, you, you drunk as a skunk. Or you clubbing to the point to where you, 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 you ain't get a chance to repent before you go to bed at night. He he want he want to catch you. He want to catch you, and 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 he want to he want to take you out at, at at your weak point. And if you live the next day as God's grace, then nothing ain't happened to you. Satan want to catch you. You see, he want us to be using sloppy grace, and then all of a sudden one one day he catch you where you you didn't you didn't call on that grace fast enough. <coughs> Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, the dream the, the, the dream threw threw me off. Woke me up. But God was letting me know that He was watching over me on Satan's turf. And a lot of us saints, we justify, you know, being on Satan's turf. And to be honest with you, you know, I like I say, I used to pray before I would go out. Pray before I would take a drink. You know. And um uh, but and I and and I, and and God was watching over me. He really was. Some people are like, how can God watch you? You you, God will watch over you. My my relationship wasn't going away. I love the Lord. Still will pray, speak in tongues, fast. Yeah, I just I just enjoyed going out for a season. But I still will pray. God was with me. I will read His Word, worship, all that. That it, it was just a season in my life where I just I enjoyed it. It wasn't sin to me at, at, at that point. I just I just enjoyed it, and I that was the honest to God truth. But God was letting me know that He was watching over me while I was in the devil's den. He couldn't touch me. Now I'm saying this here, and I wouldn't you know I wouldn't tell any saints to do what I did, but it's not about uh, some of y'all doing it anyway. But if you are, if y'all do decide to go out clubbing and, and bugging and drinking, say your prayers before before you go out. Ask God to watch over you because you know it's already in your flesh to go do. It's, it's, it's something in you that you, you is, is running its course. But I pray you ask God to watch over you until you come out of that. And I pray that God, that, that, that when you hear him saying your time is up, Come out from among them. That could be that very day that Satan want to get you while you on his turf. Come out. And you'll know when it's time to come out because it loses its luster. It loses its luster. And y'all, it's no condemnation because a lot of saints, you know, are, 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 like I say, you start off on fire. And, and then when you've been in it for years, you grew up in it, you know, uh, and, and the enemy will try to make you feel like your, 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 your life you know, you, you ain't doing nothing. And, you know, there's plenty of things to do in Christ. Plenty of things to, to be done. You know, it's, it's other places that you can go, other things that, 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 that you can go that, that'll keep you in the kingdom of God. And keep your walk from being scarred. <laughs> you know, all I can say is there's restoration. You know, if you have been out there bugging, you know, and God been dealing with you. You know, and if he's calling you in, come, come, come on in, come on in.
But I will say it's a lot of saints out there, you know, clubbing and bugging, you know, and uh, and 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 God is watching. He's 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 watching over, you know. But when He calls you in, bring it back on in, y'all, because see, and it's not just about being a stumbling block, though though you can be a stumbling block. Satan wants your soul. Satan wants you to die in a compromising position. He he wants you to die. He wants to be able to stand before God. But but you know he or she was was out there on my turf. You you you, you they was doing this and they was doing that. He wanna be able to accuse you. He hates you. He don't want to go to hell by himself. He want to take every soul he can, y'all. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Like I say, this was a club I saw in hell. And uh, let's say it was, it was a sobering dream. A sobering dream. So, before I close this video out, I just want to uh, say a prayer that if there's any saints of God, and I love y'all. I t trust me. I understand. We there. We there. I I I I I understand. But if there's anybody out there that you going through the same thing that I've been through, like I say, it's no condemnation. But when God call you back in, come on in. Cause you just never know. Don't don't always stay tender hearted. Always stay humble. You know, if this is a struggle, stay humble. But don't ever get arrogant. Well, I can do what I want. It's my life. You know, it's when you arrogant is when Satan can get you. Always stay humble like, like a child. Whether you fall or whether you stand. I don't care how long you've been in Christ. Pray for a, a, a humble and a contrite heart. And when God is tapping on your shoulder, telling you to bring it on in, bring it on in, saints. Because it may be, be a time where Satan, because see, Satan be trying to set up scenarios while you're out there in the club, while you're drinking. You know, you just never know. You're coming on from the club. You know, you could be in, in an accident while you're drinking. Or, 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 or a cop can stop you and then you get a ticket. You know, all, all, all kind of scenarios. Satan want to set you up. He want to accuse you. He either want to kill you or get you caught up in, in circumstances and consequences. Okay? So say this prayer for me. This is for those who are in Christ or either you backslidden. And some of you don't feel like you backslidden. You feel like, well, Nail, I, I, I don't feel nothing wrong. They call me Nail. You know, yeah, I, I don't feel nothing, nothing was wrong with it. Okay. All right. I'm still going to say a prayer for you. Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. And I'm lifting up the body of Christ up to you, Lord. Lord, this is not a message to condemn my sisters or brothers because there go I. It used to be me. And I thank you for bringing me back to a mindset of standards and, and, and restoring to me the joy of my salvation. Father, I follow the saints that uh, whoever watched this video, Father, I pray and ask that you restore the joy of the saints' salvation. I pray for a supernatural conviction upon my sisters and brothers, whether they're in positions or whether they're just in the, in the, in the pulpit or whether they're in, 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 in the seats and just a saint coming to church. I pray for conviction upon everybody's heart who's struggling with clubbing and drinking and fornicating and masturbating and doing everything that the enemy would, would tempt them to do, Lord. I pray for a conviction for, a, a, the, a, for the Holy Spirit to convict their hearts, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you. There's many saints out there that the, the Satan want to set them up for destruction, Lord. Set them up to backslide and to die in their sins, Lord. So I pray for all the saints all over the world, whoever watched this video, Lord, that you would touch their heart and convict their heart to come back to you, to come back to their first love and to be restored in fellowship with you again or to just 
to, to, to just come back to you all together because they've been gone, spirit, soul, and body all together, that they be restored back to you. And for those who are listening to this, say this prayer with me. Say, Lord, I come before you as a child of God. Forgive me for my backslidings. Heal me of my backslidings, Lord. This is an area that is weak for me, Lord. And I need you to help me, Lord, with the sins of my flesh. I can't do without you. Help me, Lord. Help me to come back to the fold and begin to get in your word again. Begin to minister your word again. To do whatever it is that you've called me to do. Save me from the enemy's hand right now. And I accept you back into my heart, Lord Jesus. You've been knocking at my door. And I've been letting you stand outside. Jesus, I want you to come in. Come into my living room. Come into my whole house and fellowship with me. I receive you back in, Jesus. I want to go home to be with you, Father. I, I don't want to go to hell, Lord. And I ask that you save me. If there's any sinners out there, say, Lord Jesus, I receive you. I am a sinner. I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. And I accept Jesus Christ into my life. And I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for saving me from a burning hell. And this day, if I die, I will go home to be with you. And I thank you, Lord, for accepting me into your kingdom. So, if anybody said these prayers, this was to the backsliders, you were stored in God. Get back in church again. Get oh, oh, Crack your word open. Begin to pray and fast. This is for those who you've accepted Christ for the first time. Find you a good church. I pray, Father, that you will send people in their path. Lead them to good ministries where they're preaching the full gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, send them to ministries that is preaching about you, about Jesus, Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues about Satan. Preach the whole miracles, blessings that they preach the full gospel, Lord. Send, send people in their path to help them lead the way, to lead, the, lead them the way. And lead them, Holy Spirit. Teach them how to read the word. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. So y'all, y'all go get a Bible, find a good church, find a good man or woman of God, somebody that can minister to, to your souls, and I want to see you in the kingdom of God. I love y'all, and I just wanted to share that dream with you, and uh, have a blessed one, and uh, just saints, come, come, come back. Jesus coming soon. Come back in the fold. Don't be caught out. Don't be left behind. The time is short. It's winding up. It's winding up. Come on in. All right.